Well, <clears throat> here we are again, our eighth visit to the cottage. It's the 1st of July 2013. It's been some time since we last showed you around. As you can probably tell, tell by my rather dishevelled appearance, the uh, growth of hair and beard. If it gets much longer, I'll be tripping over it. It's too busy painting and sanding, though, to do anything about it. Anyway, less of that and more of the cottage. So let's have a look at the garden first. Starting to look a bit overgrown, needs uh, another good cut. But the, uh, the bower is coming on very nicely now with the Virginia creeper growing over it. That's one of the first jobs when we move in is to get that all tidied up. There's a view over the hills. And back around the front. See the climbing tower now. And to the front door where you'll see we have now a new shiny gold Yale lock. So let's enter the cottage. Right, we have carpet. We have heat storage heaters back on walls. We have painted walls and varnished beams. We have a cleaned up fire and varnished mantelpieces and hearths. Our first piece of furniture rating the television is here, as is the Hoover. And our grey wall and our bicycle clock. Very in keeping with the surrounds, the view out the window. And of course the bathroom. Here we have the bath and the wooden thingy we jiggy you stand on. And the shower and toilet. Don't forget the toilet. And in there is the washing machine, and in there is the tank. And there's the wash basin. Let's have a quick look at the washing machine. Ta da! Okay. And go out the bathroom. And into a quick look at the cellar, which. Uh, Put the light on, there we are. Has now become a storage area for the tools. Got a bit of carpet to finish off laying in here. And that will also accommodate the beer making and wine making equipment. And then we'll go into the dining room, which also has a storage heater fitted now, back on the wall. And it's also got the red wall. And it's got the brick surround, which you should be able to see. Okay, and the half. And the rather tall skirty boards all vanish. We're waiting for the electric socket to be put on those points around the room. And we'll go up the stairs with the posh new carpet. Up the stairs. More vanish skirty boards. And into and Lee Alexander's and Ariella's and possibly Katie's room when they come to stay. Again, heaters back on the wall. Those are the beds ready to uh, be assembled. The loft hatch has now been painted and sorted out. Go out the window. Little hood across the way. And all the varnishing around the door frames. Obviously the door's got to be um, wax polished. Well, they can be put back on. The landing has now got the nice uh, wooden top varnished as well. This is the final storage heater still to go on on the landing. Okay, we move into the famous picture light, ready for our picture to go there. And another storage heater in our room, already on the wall, all painted. And the fire has even got its little candles in already. Okay. And again, the windows was as easy to clean. Outside, that's the view from this corner. And then we walk through, across the little ingle nooky thingy, and all this amazing varnished woodwork. And into the dressing room. Again, 
all varnished and painted. And if you remember, this is the room that has the lovely view over the garden and, and over the hills. It's a lovely night tonight with blue sky. And go round again. So there's the heater and out of the dressing room and back into the landing. And now we'll go down the stairs. Into the main room. Any other fire, etc. again. And the door and the porch. Now we go to the kitchen, which has now been painted green. So we just liven it up a little bit. And cupboards, we've now got the fridge in place. And this afternoon Sue's tidied the conserver job and given the floor a good wash. We've still got the doors over there to be sanded down a little bit and then uh, wax polished to go back on, hopefully next week. And outside, everything's growing very fast out here. So just have a look at the, the garden that uh, needs some attention. This is the veg garden eventually. Very overgrown now because I've obviously haven't had time to do anything with it. That's the view from our back door basically. And once this wooden structure here is gone hopefully that's what we can look out on over the conservatory. And then obviously through there is where you get through the back gate into back to the bower. So that concludes tonight's update on developments at the cottage. Anyway next time you see us hopefully we'll have some doors in place and a bit more furniture. So bye for now. See you soon.